everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm coming back with uh, my newspaper journal cover. <laughs> no, cover. And uh, just small kind of like jump in the past or uh, to the past. Maybe you notice that I do have crack here and it starts to get crackles here and a little bit here this one it will be stable because i think this happened this crack here happened when i glue it down so i had a little bit of glue on my finger and i probably uh, lift up the newspaper it did happen because i didn't have there enough glue so this part here wasn't glued properly and that's why it did cracked but luckily i'm working on vintage uh, vintage look journal so <laughs> i'm glad actually this is kind of like bob ross happy accident <laughs> i love bob ross i've been watching his videos for years and it always cheers me up and i'm always smiling so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add there a little bit of darkness and i'm gonna actually enjoy this crackle i add over it today at morning i kind of wiped over it a little bit of my uh, PVA glue just to make sure it will don't get open totally so it's sealed now and I'm just gonna add there a little bit of shades and exactly same I'm gonna do here you know many times we spend hours and hours to create these crackles and ripped papers so I'm not uh, stressed about this one at all it will just bring a little bit more aging to my project and today we're gonna create uh, kind of like hinges or holdings for anything we will, <laughs> I will create for this journal I have to say it right here right now that uh, I'm not gonna put inside proper writing pages I'm not gonna do this one as a proper writing journal just because I want to try a few different things and this will be more like visual journal or sensory journal. You can touch it and you know you can feel different things like here that painting. I got questions about what I did use here. I use just normal white acrylic paint. That That's all. Normal white acrylic, acrylic paint and this is... Let me have a look if I will see. Uniball, uh, Signo, White Pigment Ink. This is the pen I used for doodling and white acrylic paint I used for my stenciling. That was all what I did use. If you don't have... Uh, and also there was... I, I think that was very important that the fabric which I used was very friendly for any kind of coloring fabrics like jeans you know denim they are perfect for coloring because they soak the, the color so this fabric was perfect for that because it did soak the color so it, it's kind of inside and i'm not gonna wash it so it will stay uh, colored for some time uh, what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna grab my bottle of uh, bottle of what is inside glue and i'm gonna use this bottle to fold the spines i don't want to have the spine uh, straight that's why i didn't make the gaps big enough if you want to have these spines straight you don't want to fold it this way you need to keep gaps between those parts i forgot to say that in that video with uh, the book cover but i knew i want to fold them this way I want to kind of make them, uh, no, make them this way. <laughs> so I didn't put their big gaps and also this material, it's very thin. So that was another part. So I'm going to use that bottle and I'm going to fold my spines of this book over that bottle to make them slightly curved. So that way the paper will don't get crushed or, you know, and we'll don't get too many crackles, cracks. And here as well. So I can close it easily. Just slide it between this one and that back cover. 
So it will have, and I'm gonna, you know, even press it a little bit more. You can use a roller pin. I think it's called a roller pin. What you used on pastry in the kitchen, you know, that thingy. So you can use that for curving these sides, the spines. So that's what I wanted to say. And today I'm going to create those hinges for holding whatever I will create for this journal. And it will be uh, holding from here, kind of like another, something like this flap. Uh, I have cut that piece of newspapers, just the bottom of newspapers here. I do have seven and five eighths. That is the size with which I can go right here. You can slide it there with no issue at all. So this is seven and five eighths. And I'm gonna be working uh, for now on all this sheet. And then from this sheet, I'm gonna be cutting pieces which I will glue and sew probably together later. I'm gonna create, create those hinge, hinges. And uh, I would like to have these hinges not kind of like hard or heavy like are in photo albums because these hinges will be like the basic photo albums hinges. Something like this. You know, when you are creating big, smaller, smaller and even smaller pieces, then you glue them together. So then you do have these uh, hinges which will hold your pages so something like this just not with these small hinges and not uh, with this totally straight or hard I want to have that that feeling of newspapers newspapers are flimsy and they are moving all the time something like this so for making this more stable I'm gonna be using cheesecloth and I'm gonna glue cheesecloth on all this space and on that, uh, I'm going to glue another piece of newspaper. I think I'm going to choose this side because it, there is nice print. Here is nice print as well. So <laughs> both sides are good. <laughs> so I'm going to take cheesecloth. I'm working with 90 grades of cheesecloth. I'm going to put link down below uh, of the cheesecloth I'm buying all the time from Amazon. Uh, just... To have a look, you know, what grade I do have. If you will don't understand what I'm saying, sometimes my pronunciation is not so clear, I know. So I'm working with this. And if you don't have a cheesecloth, maybe you do have old pillow duet with, from, made from that light fabric. That will be good. That will be just enough. Nothing too hard. Just some light fabric that will hold great. So I'm going to glue this cheesecloth on my newspapers. So I do have cheesecloth glued to that piece of newspaper and from now from this side where I can see the cheesecloth I'm gonna glue just you know pieces of newspaper I do have all around and I'm gonna cover all this side with the newspapers kind of uh, hide the cheesecloth between the cheesecloth is there just to reinforce those newspapers and I don't want to make this too bulky so it will be really just one layer of, of newspapers glued on this side. So I do have my both sided layer of newspaper around that cheesecloth. It's all dry. So now I'm going to take my guillotine. And I'm going to cut the pieces. First I'm going to cut this edge. I'll try to cut it straight. And I'm gonna cut the pieces I need. So, as I said, this is seven and five eighths. With those straps, it will be seven and three quarter. But seven and five eighths is the newspaper base. And first piece, I'm gonna cut five and three quarter. Second piece, I'm gonna cut five and one quarter. 
Next piece, I'm gonna cut four and three quarter. And last piece, yeah, come on, sit. Last piece, I'm gonna cut four and one quarter. So I do have all my pieces cut it. And I'm gonna take a ruler and measure two inches from each side and draw a line in there, two inches from each side on every single one of these pieces, two inches from this side, two inches from this side. These are seven and five eighths. So on these seven and five eighths, I'm gonna draw two inches here. In centimeters, it should be um, around five centimeters. Yeah, five centimeters or two inches, depends on what you want to count. So from this side. And I can fold straight away around the, the ruler and two inches from that opposite side. So that's first one. I'm gonna take second piece, and again here it's seven and five eighths here. So these sides I'm gonna take like my sides where I will <coughs> draw those two inches inside, two inches here, two inches here. And then on that opposite side. And with this, I'm gonna do all of these pieces. And I do have my four pieces. Now I can start to glue them together. So always in this, this is the biggest one. And on the, the smallest one, always on this middle section, I'm gonna put the glue. And I will try to place it um kind of in the middle here <laughs> i will try <laughs> if you want to sew their uh, journaling papers you totally can do so in these gaps gaps between there will be always one quarter of inch gap which is nice space for uh, signature so you can always do so and i'm gonna place it Right here. So manage side here, side on the bottom, and here you can see how big gaps you have. So you can manage with this one also if you are in the middle. Now, <clears throat> this one, try to take them uh, in the right order.
match the bottom, match the top and try to put these sides kind of in like that pyramid or cascade and you are on the right spot. And I'm going to take the last one. And this one is very old, kind of like basic style of binding for photo albums. And it works for any kind of folios as well. And it's really old, kind of like basic, basic style of binding. So now, if I will lift up, you will see that I do have their gaps. And if I will kind of curl this one, because I don't like those straight, uh, straight edges, straight sides. <laughs> so I'm going to curl this one. But I first, I think I need to let it dry. So I'm going to let this dry. Then I will play with that. Do not make it too straight. I like it more when it's, you know, in that shape of old books. And we will have our hinges. For anything. Uh, for any kind of creation. So now I can bring back my book cover. Open it. Open this. And I'm going to get up this one. I'm thinking that I will probably, I would like to have there some sewing, I guess. I like stitching through. Or make this even more decorative. You know, when you will sew your signatures, if you want to sew your signatures, you can sew them to, the, to these gaps and put some beads here for decorating. So then you can just glue it right here. And now I'm not sure if I want to glue it there right now or if I will wait till I will have full kind of like book block. I'm just going to slide it there for now. I will don't put the glue yet because maybe I will have some brilliant idea <laughs> which will need to have this one, you know, kind of like take out from book. So for now, I'm going to keep it as a part of my book so this will be hinges for our book and let's create something right i'm missing some decorative parts or something for my pockets here as you know this is that four pocket pocket where you are so one pocket here one pocket here one pocket here in that window and one pocket behind and i think it needs some tuning. It needs something. And I just got one idea. And I think it's maybe the right decision. Uh, you know, when I was thinking if I will glue it in there. I'm not going to glue it actually in there. Because then it will be uh, on, you know, up to new owner. If the new owner will decide to change it for some writing journal. And keep this one aside. So I'm going to keep it this way and I'm going to probably create front cover, back cover and the, these things which I would like to put inside as kind of like visual book. And then I will just slide it here. So you don't have to actually glue this one in there. You can use this uh, as a spine of your new <laughs> book journal and create a journal which you will just slide behind this and then change it, you know. 
once it will be full of information there will be not empty space to write on so then you will just take off this this journal of yours and put the new one i'm gonna do it this way so this is spine of my book <laughs> and this is cover yeah and that's happened to me many 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 times that in the process i'm changing the first thinking so <laughs> we created spine for new journal today and now i do have here these two these this and these many these are toilet paper rolls i already spray them with alcohol then i let it dry cut them on on the you know in that row so cut them and flat it down with the iron and i do have few of them here pre prepared for you know take them to the craft and i do have here this one and i was thinking maybe these chipboards you know uh, home waste thingies could be amazing as a base for our tax so today we will create a few basic tags and do not underestimate basic, not over decorated tags because they can be that balance between art, your artistically decorative tags and uh, the background. They can balance the view, they can make the artistic tag pop up if these will be nicely and easily done with not too many embellishments they will be just exactly what your book will need sometimes to have plain or nearly empty tags it's the great uh, great thing to have if you want to pop up something else you will put it go to have a look to museum you will see that uh, all these beautiful paintings they don't they are not stored next to each other every single of these pictures they do have nice amount of uh, what is that a solid color wall around them just to make sure that they they will pop up <clears throat> so today we will create some easy easy tags and uh, for some I'm, I'm gonna use these toilet toilet uh, chipboards and this one this has nice size here so I'm gonna cut off these sides and I'm gonna create three tags by cutting this background and these I think it can fit into that pocket let me have a look oh like exactly wonderful so these I'm gonna keep in the size as they are so I do have here my cutouts from newspapers here is text and here all these all kind of these wonderful images from uh, puzzles and crosswords and stuff like that and i'm gonna start to do my little collages i will also prepare um, these medical tapes so before i will start to put some collages on the on my tags on these chipboard pieces i'm gonna prepare this uh, medical tape and I'm gonna be using alcohol inks because they are making always beautiful vintage look of this modic medical tape I do have this non-sticky paper it's from labels so I save that and I'm using it as my background paper and I do have here this uh, alcohol ink that's perfect to use for uh, coloring this medical tape this is called brownie it's from octopus company and it's really wonderful and it's a large bottle and it's really wonderful alcohol ink this one i like to use it a lot so i'm gonna just wipe on my tape a little bit of this brownie as you can see it's a really nice color Okay, I think I'm done. Just this light look, not too too dark. And I'm gonna start to put my newspapers on my tags. 
So any of these texts will be amazing to have on my tags because they will look great. Kimberworth, what's close to our, our home? I can put either this color or this this color. I think I'm gonna go for this one. And I'm gonna start to put there my little collages. So first I'm gonna make collage here and I'm placing that paper a little bit over the edge so then I can cut it around the edge of that chipboard. And here on the side I think I'm going to be using this one and just clip a little bit of this and place it here on that corner. And something on the bottom. I can take a piece of my medical tape and place it there like decoration. So, I'm gonna rip it here. And it is quite white, so I'm gonna take my scissors, cut it on half. And I think that will be enough. And maybe place it right here. Like this. I'm gonna cut the newspaper all around. And to give it kind of like tuck shape, I'm gonna be using this corner punch. You can use just scissors and... Just simply cut the corner. And as I do have here this corner punch, I'm gonna use that and just quickly cut the corner corners here on the top. And also, <coughs> I will mark the middle and punch the hole in there. And I'm gonna be using crocodile and just simply poke the punch the hole. And I think the tape can be actually nice decoration here as well. Like this. So with this basic, I'm going to cover <clears throat> all of my pieces, also this. I do have my little collaging on the top done and I have to say I really love this. I also punched the corners on these toilet paper roll uh, pieces and punched the hole in them. And you can keep it this way on the opposite side. It's totally possible to write on it. or this way as it was inside in that box or if you want you can cover all of these from this side with some uh, writing paper it's totally up to you and now <clears throat> these could be beautiful as a background uh, tag when you do have some uh, some art tag or something more decorative like are these small uh, Rolodex card, so you can place this tag in the pocket behind this Rolodex, decorative Rolodex card and it will be beautiful or maybe behind this one. So it can just, you know, pop up uh, a little bit more what you have created as your art. 
And if you are not satisfied with uh, the plain design, you can always use some stickers, maybe stamping and do some stamping on it and decorate it even more. But I think these simple uh, tags are very useful and they can be a really beautiful additional tag in your journal. So that's all for today. I'm going to place this one here. These I'm going to place for now into this side pocket. And the next time I'm going to create actually something for this pocket. For that inside pocket. And these can be here. And this one as well. And I can actually place a few of them. Go there. few of them oh. here as well and this one so I can have fully loaded uh, <laughs> fully loaded back pocket I'm gonna slide it there for now as it is quite long so that's my sharing for today we did uh, hinges which we will use in the future and these cute little tags I know sometimes these uh, projects look so simple but the beauty is in the simplicity I hope I gave you some idea what to do with your scraps with uh, boxes you have at home they are perfect background for making tax thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a beautiful day take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye